give you uh, this is our society card. We are the abolitionist society. Oh wait, this isn't ours. No, but we're the abolitionist society of Little Elm. Okay. Okay. You can find us on Facebook and YouTube. All right. All right, and uh, we're going to be. Well, we're here today. We're taking this week off. We stood out of the high school all last week, oh, great. and another one the week before. Good for you so, for getting out and pound, oops, sorry, for pounding the streets. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I can give you my phone number. Yeah. It, do you, are you, is it just you guys or do you have like a group? Down there, there's oh, part of us. We have a very large group across the country. You oh, know, neat. Um, okay. We do Project Frontlines, which is going out and educating the high school students. Oh, that's the before best. Before it happens, yeah. okay, so we can hopefully save some well, babies. Well, hey, I went women. back in high school through the 70s, and they were well established then. You know, yeah, our yeah. parents didn't know that they'd come in and teach us all about it. So yeah. I know they're deadly, especially yeah. for schools, because they come off like they're cool. Yeah, and they're very established in today's schools as well. Oh, oh much Sad. worse than they were in my yeah. day. We have yeah. counter protesters come out when we stand out yeah. there and Well when they when the videos came out I went I couldn't handle it. I went out by the freeway and Good held up my you. I close love the it. chop shop. <laughs> well, you're, you're more than welcome to stand with us. We're going to be okay. here till 11 o'clock uh -huh. this morning. We've got plenty of signs. More than welcome to stand with us today. Oh. We'll probably be out here next Sunday. And then if um, you look us up too, you can always do the education with the kids too at the high school with us. Yeah, we do that Monday through Friday. Yeah, you can talk to the kids. The teachers that don't the schools run you off? Well, well they we'll try, can't run us off. <laughs> just like... Good. It's like, right. it's like the church can't run us off. But the church wouldn't want to. Well, actually, the church, if we cross over that line, well, these guys are they'll huge. arrest us. Yeah. Really? They're yeah. huge. No, no. No, no, they have a huge ministry to stop the worship of some Christ. They Did do. you talk to them? Because we these have. guys are the most... Yeah, we have an abolitionist that goes all. here. I know. <laughs> I mean, they don't get any here. better. <laughs> we're like, come on, Jack. What, does he even know you're out here? Oh, yeah. We've been out here for five, six weeks now. But he should. I'm surprised um, he doesn't come out. Yeah, but unfortunately, that's that's what the normal Christianity looks, and that's what we ask people: What does your Christianity look like in a culture that is murdering over three thousand babies well, a day? They're about it. There's a whole bunch of people that in there that do what you're doing. Yeah. Well, yeah. they they obviously haven't come out and spoken to us because yeah. that's what we're here. All right. Sure we have somebody in there. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. I would never actively uh, protest against yeah. that. And he's as about a conservative as you can get. Yeah. You know, he's really And you know, if you want to learn more about us too, in depthly, our organization that we do, uh, well, it's not really an organization. Well, I just haven't it's found just a bunch of people getting together yeah. and doing the same thing, really, what it is. But we have fellowship every Sunday night too, and you can really ask all kinds of questions mm -hmm. if you want it or whatever. Yeah, we had a couple from your church come last Sunday. Yeah, they came last Sunday, yeah. which was really great. Well, all of us just hate this. Yeah. You know, who doesn't, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's time to not be pro-life anymore. It's time to abolish it because it's been yeah. 40 years of death and murder, you know, yeah. and we need to do something different. Our tactics are not working. We can't regulate it anymore. We shouldn't well, regulate it anymore. We need to stop it's it. Disgu I won't even take, when I heard Obamacare was paying for it, I dropped Chloe, it. Chloe, get out of the water, please. <laughs> I dropped it immediately, you know, because I'm not yeah. going to pay for people's abortions. Right, know? right. So. Right, but, you know, I mean, look at look at this, okay? We had HB 948 here in Texas back in February. That's to abolish it. It was a legislative bill to abolish abortion. We had a huge rally in Austin. We had le we had less people show up to support that bill than you see here today. Well, it's getting the word out. Oh, the word was out. <laughs> we were we were it was the pro-life movement that basically didn't want this bill passed because it treats abortion like murder it prosecutes people who do it as murderers and that goes against I mean they're never gonna pass that well if 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 I if I raped a woman should I be prosecuted as a rapist if I robbed no, I you totally agree with you it is it is murder I totally agree with right. you. So. Well, unfortunately, God's word calls it murder as well. Well, yeah, and what scares me is the punishment. 
Well, it's murder. No, God's wrath. Oh. Yes, you read you oh read the Bible, goodness. and every time somebody's wiped off the face of the earth, yeah. it's because of baby killing, rather mm -hmm. than sacrificing it to mulcher, yeah. you know, or to the self. Yeah, yep. it doesn't matter. Absolutely. All these people are dead. So we're asking people, you know, what does your Christianity look? I mean, are we acting like three thousand of our neighbors are being killed every day? No, we would we would absolutely. I mean, if they kill, if they were killing three thousand people in this church every day, no, yeah, would our response be what it is now? Right. That's yeah, why we're out. I agree. I agree. Well, good job, guys. I love to see people that will. That. And you are more than welcome to join us for fellowship tonight. You're more than welcome to come stand with us. Well, you know, I live up, I live up on the Red River. I drive this far because that guy. Do you know that in Texas, abortion is illegal right now? The only reason it's going on is because the pro-life industry has passed this law and this law and this law and this law that says, and now you can kill your baby. Yeah. See, turn around. Stop regulating child sacrifice. Yeah. That's what the pro-life so, laws. I think what they're trying to do is take, they, since they don't think that they would probably ever have a shot mm -hmm. of complete uh, re repeal, like what you're. We're not going right for now. a repeal. But, Abolition so they is. They take a little at a time, and it's, they're trying to. Do, right, that's called incrementalism. Well, it, would you treat yeah. rape that way? No, but to get what you what you you do it, you attack on all levels, right. from what you're doing and the little bits here and there. Well, actually, anything the little bits slow, here and there are as down. what has kept it going for 43 years. The little bits. Now, we look, after 43 years, we're killing over a million babies a year. Okay? But it is this is, to go back. Numbers are coming down. It's not going down. No. Uh, yeah, now it's down no. to over a million a year. Okay, but there was a peak and people were starting to get educated. When Moses... The numbers are coming down. Now, that doesn't mean we don't have a long road, but that is a bridal. When Moses went before Pharaoh, when Pharaoh said, okay, you can leave, but you leave the children and the women here and the livestock, but you guys, the men can leave. Did Moses say, well, that's actually pretty good because we could do that now. And then, you know, by the time 50 years go by, we could probably work and get the women come out and we could probably work and get the livestock to come out. I know what you're saying, but wait, what if, but if you can get a law right now that it is the law now let's say that we can't we can get a law that could stop abortion at 21 weeks so that's you're the late term actually no so it isn't ma'am because that's time. only two percent of the amount of babies that are killed each year two percent's better than no percent actually ma'am it's I'm not because a bit, a bit what away. you do with a law like that is you say now we give permission to Kill. So you're saying, okay, open door and tell the laws completely abolished. No, ma'am. Let them have it. First off, there is no law that needs to be abolished. What needs to be happening is the law that's already on the books be no. enforced. Well, that law, right? The okay. Law. Right. Because first off, the Supreme Court does not make the rules and the laws in this land. No, they are only allowed to interpret them. I know, but what, but what is is is, and anything that will take those numbers down, I am for. Now, of course, complete turnover is by Bye -bye. far the best, but I'm also Bye -bye. for any little bits. There is no turnover, ma'am. What this, we need to do is we need to defy. We need to re, not repeal if we want to wait to our Supreme Court. Okay. No, I, I would be for ending it immediately. Right. Second. We are to, to <laughs> defy the tyrants. Right. We are. You should go to lessermagistrates.com. Uh -huh. Okay. They do not have the right 
to do this. And that's what HB 948 did. HB 948 says, as of today, we will make abortion illegal. And if the federal government comes in here, we will arrest the federal government. God, wouldn't that be awesome? But can I just... Uh, but wait, that is what the truth is. Hi, guys. I got another just appointment. one second. Uh -huh. um, God doesn't like compromise. Neither do I. No, I know. I get that. Right. I can right. tell. Um, but it's truth or it's wrong. It's evil or it's good. Right. So when we compromise on those bills and those things, you know, we're compromising. And I don't see, I don't think God would be happy that we're compromising. With no, that. but it, you but through, I mean? through so. that, it, through that, if it can save one life while we're trying to do what you want to do, I'm all for. Yeah. And Anything I just, that saves a life. Yeah. yeah but actually, when you it. save that one life, you give authority and permission and recognition to killing the other 99. No. I actually, just saved that one. Actually, <laughs> yeah, if you want to look at it that way, if you want to look at it that way, but that's not how God looks at it. But anything that saves a I am for exactly what you are, but anything. Um, actually, you're not, ma'am. I would totally do it, but guys, I love you. I gotta go. Thank you. Keep the fight. I'll look you up. Okay.